What are your main criticisms of the uh, Obama administration's handling of counterterrorism? The overriding criticism I have of the Obama administration is their refusal to identify who the enemy is. The enemy is Islamic terrorism. And they will use words like extremism. They will uh, go all around it. They are afraid to uh, uh, be politically incorrect, and they uh, just insist on using whatever term they can other than Islamic terrorism. If you don't know who your enemy is, it's hard to mobilize the American people against that enemy. And, and would you say that we're safer now than we were when President Obama took office? Uh, I, I would say we are not as safe as we should be. I think we've been hurt by a number of things he's done. Uh, one is to uh, uh, constantly talk about closing Guantanamo, about talking about giving more rights to terrorists, about giving Miranda warnings to uh, terrorists, and by uh, uh, just an overall reluctance to really engage the enemy here at home. I support his policies in Iraq and Afghanistan, but I think when it comes to counterterrorism, uh, his reluctance has actually had a chilling effect on our interrogators. It's had a, uh, a, a chilling effect on people in the law enforcement and intelligence communities who are afraid if they do their job, they can end up being indicted. And the WikiLeaks disclosure has, has kind of driven the news this week. Um, what's the biggest takeaway for Americans from that, and, and what should be done about the, the leakers? First of all, the leakers should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I mean, that has to, uh, they have to be fully, fully prosecuted. Uh, this is a disgrace. This is time of war. And I think somehow the media is too casual about this. Uh, to, to me, it's beyond belief that you would uh, leak secret classified information in time of war. Uh, secondly, as far as the information that come out, none of it is really new as far as overall policy is concerned. Uh, as far as problems with Pakistan, we've known about that. As far as it being a tough war on the ground, we've known that. Having said that, 90,000 documents are going to be analyzed by the enemy. And from that, they may be able to learn about locations. They may be able to learn when we uh, became aware of certain issues and uh, of certain facts. And by doing that, they might be able to find informers that we may have had or people who are cooperating with us. And probably the most deadly uh, consequence of this would be uh, the American soldiers being killed as a result of this and also uh, our failure to get uh, Afghans to cooperate with us and work with us because if they see this type of information coming out, they'll be very, very reluctant to put their lives in the line by working with us. If they work with us, they give us information that saves American lives. If they don't, Americans die, and that's a consequence of this.